Hey everybody! It's day 90 of the 100 Day Fitness Challenge. Can you believe it? Day 90. The big 9-0. I'm exhausted. You have no idea. Well, maybe you do. You've been watching my videos. If you've been watching my videos, you know just how exhausted I am. Um, yeah, let's do a recap of my weekend. 5 o'clock in the morning, Friday, I get up. I'm out of the house by 6 a.m. Go to my class. Go to Jim's, my husband's doctor's appointment. Go to my orthodontist appointment. Go to five different stores for the picture frame. Come home. Get ready for the party. Go to the party. Get home at 1.30 in the morning. And exercise. That was Friday. Then... I woke up Saturday. What did I do Saturday? <laughs> oh yeah, I woke up Saturday at, I want to say 8 o'clock. I'm not sure. I, you know what? Saturday's a blur. I went to work. I came home. Oh yeah. I woke up Saturday and I uploaded my video from Friday. That's what I did. And then I went to work, got ready, went to work, came home, got ready to go to my other party, went there, got home at 12.30, exercised, went to bed about 1.30, because I had to go upload my video. I didn't have to, but I wanted to. And then I was up again at 6 in the morning to go to a work meeting at 7.30. Went straight from the work meeting to church until 2 o'clock. Came home, got my daughter, and I went to the grocery store. Came home, got dinner ready, and here we are. at 7.40 at night, almost a quarter to 8 o'clock at night, just now going on my walk. There's a recap of my weekend. <laughs> See these bags? That's right. Getting ready to take another three week vacation with these babies. That's right. <laughs> Let's go on our walk before I crash and burn. God bless. Hello everybody. I just finished my walk for day 90 and uh, I haven't given you a trap of the day for a couple of days because it's been crazy and it was 1.30 in the morning and it was, you know, you know where I've been and what I've been doing. But I um, wanted to give you the trap of the day. Our trap of the day today is emotional reasoning. What emotional reasoning is, you assume that your negative emotions reflect the way things really are. An example would be, I feel guilty, so I must be a rotten person. So, how many of you assume that your negative emotions reflect the way things really are? Do you blow things out of proportion in your mind? I don't know if that's the right wording for that, but I want to hear from you. I'm not, I mean, I believe that I must have that. I don't know. Let me see. Let me think about that for a minute. Yeah, I guess so. I think we all kind of have that little bit one way or the other once in a while. You know, you just, you know what really boils down to? is emotional reasoning like that. I mean, the example that they give like that um, reminds me of pride. Um, or um, another version of pride is a pity party. Um, I don't, not uh, very many people know this, but having a pity party is another form of pride. And pride is a very dangerous thing to have. Um, what do they say? Right after, what is it? Before, what is that phrase, Mom? About the pride in the fall? 
After pride, pride comes, comes before fall. Yeah, pride comes before a fall. That's what it is. So, how many of you have this um, emotional reasoning? I want to know. Sorry. I'm tired. <laughs> God bless you guys. Hopefully I'll be uh, a little more awake tomorrow and a little more perky for you.